What is the boy now, who has lost his ball? What, what is he to do? I saw it go. Merrily over, there it is in the water. The poet, John Berryman, tells about a boy, who has lost his ball. The little boy was playing with his ball, near the harbor, harbor, a sheltered seaport. His ball, bouncing happily, fell into the water. And a person would say, Oh, there are other balls. But the poet says, that saying is useless. Because, that ball was attached to him. He had many memories playing with it. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid, trembling, staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went. I would not intrude him. A dime, another ball, is worthless. An ultimate grief fixes the boy. What does this mean? An ultimate grief, that is, the most extreme sadness, fixes the boy. The boy is standing fixed, trembling, and looking at harbor, where his ball went. All his childhood memories came back to him. The poet says, that he would not intrude him. He would not console him, by offering him a new ball. He says, that another ball, that can be bought with a dime, is worthless. Dime, ten cents. Next stanza. Now, he senses first responsibility. In a world of possessions, People will take balls, balls will be lost always. Little boy. And no one buys a ball back. Money is external. The boy senses his first responsibility. In a world of possessions, in a world, where everyone runs for materialistic things, in a world, where everything is done to possess something. The boy has learned to deal with loss. Balls will be lost always. Means, the materialistic things, will be lost always. But no one buys a ball back. What does this mean? You can buy the materialistic things again. But not the memories, that were attached to the things. Therefore, money is external. It can't help a person to deal with loss. Next stanza. He is learning, well behind his desperate eyes. The epistemology of loss, how to stand up. Knowing, what every man must one day know, and most know many days, how to stand up. He is learning, behind his desperate eyes. Means, his eyes seem hopeless due to the loss, but behind the eyes, he is learning. Learning what? The epistemology of loss. Epistemology, theory of knowledge. Means, he is learning the effects of loss on him, and learning, how to stand up, and deal with the loss. He is knowing, what everyone will know someday, how to stand up and stop grieving for the loss. Grieving, feeling intense sorrow. Did you see, that there is no rhyming scheme in this poem? The poem is written in, free verse. Many poetic devices are used. Like, symbolism. The ball signifies the past, the materialistic things, and all the joys and sorrows, that are lost someday. Other poetic devices like alliteration, repetition and anaphora are also used. Please like and share this video, and subscribe the channel for more videos.